Since the downturn, we've refocused. We've refocused because the priority has really been about creating jobs. And that's really where urban and the urban enterprise area can really play a part. We have major manufacturers, we have major pharmaceutical companies, and we have major service companies. All of which means that we have a vibrant, healthy and strong life sciences community. The life sciences truly has the potential to become the lifeblood of the Scottish economy. It employs more than 35,000 people, contributes more than 3 billion. In Scotland we've developed a, a national strategy and it's all about doubling the turnover by 2020. Irvin Bay is a fantastic location for businesses who wish to come to Scotland and share in the potential of the life sciences sector. The enterprise area was established in March 2012 and since that time we've been really busy in terms of improving the environment but also very importantly getting premises back into the market. We've got new companies moving in, we've got existing companies expanding. The life science industry is very important for Booth Welsh. It was important that when we made the next step that we selected somewhere that gave us the facilities to grow the business in the coming decades. I'm very impressed by the very positive attitude and approach to development here in Urban Bay and people determined to you know, feed off each other. There are so many companies that have chosen to locate here. It's good news for the area, it's good news for people who gain employment and it's a tribute to the hard work that everyone has put in. We've taken our offer to conferences across Scotland and we're beginning to get some good feedback. I think any company looking to locate in Scotland to do manufacturing, to be connected, has to come to Urban Bay. It will create the environment for innovative businesses to work. Businesses will spend in the community, workers will spend here, and also there'll be jobs available for local people, and that's what we we'll want to see. They're going to have a motivated workforce, living on the doorstep of one of Europe's great cities in terms of Glasgow. And what more can you ask for? This has been a really successful year for us. We've finished the Bridgegate Public Realm Scheme. We've nearly finished the Drossen Medical Centre. Also, we've secured funds for Drossen Quayside, and that's going to produce another high-quality office development. Aspiration is at the heart of regeneration, which is why the sculpture is called Aspire. And I think that, you know, to cultivate an idea of yourself, an idea of your town centre, it sets its ambitions a lot higher. And I think anybody who passes through it, anybody who lives here, well, hopefully, can I do the same? Over the past few years, we've run a really successful education programme, and something like 5,000 young people have been engaged in our regeneration activity. Going forward, we're working with the Royal Society of Edinburgh to bring science right into the hearts of our school. Science is involved in nearly everything around us. Without science, there wouldn't be any medicine to help people. Most of what we know is is known for science. Life Sciences presents a fantastic opportunity. If we can realise that potential, then we can lay the foundations for future economic growth and prosperity for Irvine and North Asia.